Hello. So, it's time for an update. But first, I'm going down the pub. Back from the pub, and here is the workshop. Woo. This is back in the workshop. So I'm going to give you an update. Since the last update, I've positioned the control board for the LCD. I've bought a mirror. I have positioned a whole lot of stuff in the projector enclosure. I've also bought a funky gadget, which is completely pointless, but it's seriously cool. This thing is completely pointless, as demonstrated by the fact that it's got Japanese writing on the side of it. But it's seriously cool. It lights up and it tells you the speed of the fans inside and it also tells you the temperature in four separate places, four separate locations within the projector enclosure using four of these. Also, if the temperature goes above a certain level, or the fan speed drops quite suddenly below a certain level, there's an alarm which starts to go off. I.e. if the fans fail or something starts to catch fire, I get a big beeping noise. Fantastic. I've also stripped the LCD. The problem is with the LCD, I think I may have stripped one too many layers off. I think I may have removed one of the polarizers which I shouldn't have. I recorded all of this strip for the 10.6 inch LCD from the group by. Sometime in the next week or so, I will hopefully post that entire strip in video format. So, everyone will have a nice little tutorial on how to strip the LCD. It'll be brilliant, but that's not going to be for a while. So first of all, I'll just quickly do you a quick tour of the projector. The fans, they've been positioned there and there. So far, the fans, very quiet and really quite powerful. So far my tests have revealed that the temperature goes no higher than 30 degrees, which to be honest is pretty good. The control board and the power switches. To turn it on, first of all, you have to switch this, then turn that on, then turn that on, and then turn that on. This green switch controls the LCD and the fans and the fan controller. This controls the light. But this is the coolest bit. I've also bought some aluminium which is going to go around the outside of the projector. It's going to make it look a lot nicer than just some MDF knocked together. So, aluminium, not very nice. And then I polished and buffed it. Very cool. I've got enough sheets of that stuff to cover the entire projector. And when I've finally finished positioning all of the controls and all of the buttons and things on the side of the projector, I'm going to cut the holes in the aluminium and it's going to be nice and clean. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be lovely. Beautiful. Sexy. Going to look f***ing tasty. F yeah. So that's basically as far as I've got so far. Hopefully I will be posting the video of the LCD strip sometime very soon. Also hopefully I'll be posting some photos and some videos of the fans and the fan controller which I bought recently. Plus all of the details of the website where I bought all the stuff. But the problem is it's 1.30 in the morning. 
so it's time for me to go to sleep. So until part six, bye.